Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today's lecture uh, is for BS Semester 6 Physical Chemistry. The chapter is Surface Chemistry, and today's topic is about adsorption. Absorption and sorption. First of all, we come to the term adsorption. For this purpose, we take uh, generally we make two experiments, we perform two experiments to understand the adsorption process. Number one, first experiment that if we have a gas sample present in a cylinder, if we have a sample of gas, a gas sample which may be sulfur dioxide or chlorine or ammonia or any gas having a certain pressure and if we drop animal charcoal into this sample into the sample we observe that the gas pressure decreases drop animal charcoal, a piece of animal charcoal into the gas sample, head pressure drops. Now the question is why the pressure of the gas drops? Answer is that the molecules of the gas, gas molecules, they stick to the surface of animal charcoal. They accumulate on the surface of animal charcoal. This accumulation of a fallen substance on the surface of a solid is known as adsorption. What is adsorption? It is the accumulation accumulation of a fallen substance on the surface fallen substance may be a gas or a liquid on the surface of solid we can take second experiment we have a dye, a solution of dye, which is known as methylene blue. We have a solution of methylene blue, which is a dye. And we add powdered charcoal, powdered charcoal, which is activated powdered charcoal into the sample and we observe that the color of the solution, color of dye fades slightly, color of dye fades. It is also due to the same reason, it is due to the same reason that on the charcoal the particles of dye accumulate on the surface of animal charcoal. Here we have also accumulation of fallen particles on the substance of a solid. This phenomena, here in this case, dye is in the form of solution, so it is considered to be liquid phase. A liquid is concentrating on the surface of a solid. In the first example, a gas was concentrating, was accumulating on the surface of a solid. So these, this phenomena in which a solid, in which a liquid or a gas accumulates on the surface of a solid is known as adsorption. Surface accumulation of a fallen substance 
on solid is known as a adsorption. Now, in, while studying adsorption, we use two terms. Generally, we use two terms. Two terms are generally used while studying adsorption. There are two components. Our first one is known as adsorbent. Adsorbent is the solid surface or the solid on which the phenomena of adsorption takes place. And the second term is known as adsorbate. Adsorbate. Adsorbate is the fallen substance which is accumulating on the surface of a solid. In the above examples, the, in the first example, the adsorbent was animal charcoal or charcoal and the adsorbate was a gas. In second case, the adsorbent was the same animal charcoal and the adsorbate was methylene blue. Adsorbate was methylene blue. No, the question is why this phenomena takes place? Why adsorption takes place? What is the reason behind the adsorption process? Why the adsorption takes place? Why the adsorption occurs? Let's consider the adsorbent. Here we have the adsorbent. In this adsorbent, the molecules which are present in the interior in the body of the solid have occupied valences. Their valences are completely satisfied with one another by linking to one another. The molecules which are present in the body have satisfied valences and they have no unbalanced forces. But the molecules which are present on the surface, they have uh, the molecules present in the bulk, yeah, in the body, they have satisfied valences. And all the attractive forces, they counterbalance each other. But in case of surface molecule, they have unsatisfied valences. That is why the attractive forces are not balanced. And whenever a foreign particle, which may be a gas molecule or a liquid molecule, comes closer to the surface molecules, it is attracted by the surface molecule either through vulnerable forces or through chemical bonds and it sticks to the surface of the solid. Therefore, the main reason for adsorption is unbalanced forces of the surface molecules which are pulling the adsorbate molecules toward them. Now we use a second term. There are two types of adsorption. Types of adsorption. There are two types of adsorption. First one is known as physical adsorption. And the second one is known as chemical adsorption. Chemical adsorption. Or they are alternatively known as physisorption, physisorption, and chemisorption. Chemisorption. Let us compare the two. The first difference is between chemical and physical adsorption is that in physical adsorption, weak attractive forces are present between the adsorbent and the adsorbent, and these are called vulnerable forces. Vulnerable forces are present between 
the adsorbent and the adsorbate. And the adsorbate. But in this case, in the case of chemical adsorption, chemical bonds are formed between the two. Between adsorbent and adsorbate. Second difference between physical adsorption and chemical adsorption is that physical adsorption is always monolayered. Only one layer, it is monolayered, only one layer will be formed on the surface of the adsorbent. Uh, for example, when, let us suppose these are the adsorb adsorbent molecules, your surface molecules of adsorbent, and these are, it is a layer of adsorbent, which is you know, only monolayer, only one layer can be formed between the adsorbent, single layers formed on the surface of the adsorbent, therefore they are monolayer. So, uh, second difference between physical adsorption and chemical adsorption is that physical adsorption is multi-layered. Multi-layered. Then let us suppose we have the adsorbent, adsorbent molecules and first layer is formed and then the second layer can be attracted through one revolve forces and third layer can also be formed through one revolve forces. So it is multi-layered. Many layers can be formed on the surface of adsorbent. But in case of chemical adsorption, is always chemical adsorption it is always monolayered only one layer is formed on the surface of adsorbent it is adsorbent the valencies are free therefore the adsorbent adsorbate molecules they can form chemical bonds with the adsorbent the third difference is the effect of temperature now when we increase temperature the rate of physical adsorption decreases. Its rate decreases by increasing temperature. Physical adsorption decreases by increasing temperature. It decreases, but yeah, or, or we can say that physical adsorption occurs at low temperature. Why? The rate of chemical adsorption increases by increasing temperature. Increases by increasing temperature. For example, or we can say that uh, it occurs at high temperature. For example, let us consider the adsorption example is the adsorption of nitrogen on iron surface. Now when we are performing this experiment at 190 degree centigrade, physical adsorption takes place. But if the same adsorption process is performed at 900 degree centigrade, then chemical adsorption will occur. Similar is the case with adsorption of hydrogen gas on platinum surface. At low temperature, we observe physical adsorption or physisorption, and at high temperature, we observe chemical adsorption or chemisorption. Fourth difference between physical adsorption and chemical adsorption. The fourth difference is that physical adsorption is a reversible process. It is reversible. And we can perform the adsorption and the desorption process. Adsorption and desorption. Adsorption process and desorption process can be performed by controlling the temperature. At low temperature, adsorption will occur, and at high temperature, desorption will occur. And at a certain temperature, 
there will be a dynamic equilibrium between the adsorption and the desorption process. Chemical adsorption is irreversible process and it cannot be reversed. It is irreversible process. The reason is that a strong bond is present between the adsorbent and the adsorbate and it is very much difficult to break this bond. That is why uh, chemical adsorption is a irreversible process. Let us repeat these points once again. There are two types of adsorption, physical adsorption and chemical adsorption. And physical adsorption is also called physisorption and chemical adsorption is known as chemisorption. The first difference is that van der Waal force in physical adsorption, van der Waal forces are present between adsorbent and adsorbate. In chemical adsorption, a chemical bond is formed between the adsorbent and the adsorbate. Second difference is that physical adsorption is multi-layered. Many layers of adsorbate molecules can be formed on the surface of adsorbent and chemical adsorption is only monolayered. Only single layer can be formed on the surface of uh, adsorbent. Third difference is that physical adsorption, the rate of physical adsorption decreases by increasing temperature or we can say that is more common at low temperature. However, the chemical adsorption increases by increasing temperature or we can say that chemical adsorption uh, is favored at high temperature. Example is the adsorption of nitrogen on the surface of iron is more favorable. Physical adsorption takes place at 190 degrees centigrade but the same process changes to chemical adsorption at 900 degrees centigrade. Same is the case with adsorption of hydrogen on the surface of platinum. The fourth difference is that physical adsorption is a reversible process. Adsorption and illegal desorption can be performed by controlling the temperature or over chemical adsorption is irreversible process. Once chemical adsorption takes place, it cannot be reversed. Now there is an other term which is known as absorption. Adsorption and absorption. Please note the B in the term. Second point is absorption. Second term, which is similar to this term, but uh, conceptually different, is absorption. Absorption. Add and ab, D and B. Absorption. As we know that adsorption is a process of accumulation of a foreign substance on the surface of a solid. On the other hand, on the contrary, absorption is the concentration of a substance of a substance into the body or bulk or bulk of a solid. For example, absorption of a liquid by sponge by sponge. Second, absorption of water by sand. Sometimes both the processes may be taking place, adsorption and absorption may be occurring and we are unable to differentiate and in other cases we are unable to differentiate whether the process is adsorption or absorption. In that case when we are uh, reluctant to decide whether it is adsorption or absorption or both, uh, Meban introduced a new term we then introduce a new term which is known as sorption. Which is known as a sorption. So if we are unable to differentiate between adsorption and absorption, we will use a common term which is known as sorption. Allah Hafiz.